Hello YouTube. Today I'm making a video of how to make a craft a craft bucket server on a Mac for all the people that are having trouble because I know I did when I first started, but really it's not really that hard. Um, you know, you just need to kind of figure it out. So this is pretty much how to make it. So first of all, what is a bucket server? Well, pretty much how a bucket server differs from a normal server. Uh, it's pretty much you can install plugins to it because installing mods to a server is usually pretty hard if it's just a normal server. So uh, Bucket um, has tons of plugins and it can do a lot of things. So it's really helpful to have a Bucket server. So that's why we're getting one. So how to start? Simple. So first you need to download the craftbucket.jar file, which I have right here. I like to delete all this extra stuff because it is pointless, so we'll just do craftbucket.jar. Um, you download it from here, uh, craft, I mean, bucket.org. Get craft bucket. And even if you're on a Mac, just click the Windows one. It's still the same. Latest recommended build. And if you have Google Chrome, it said that, you know, this file might harm your computer because it's a jar file, and sometimes there's Java viruses, but, you know, this one is not a virus, so just click. Okay, download anyway. So, uh, you know, you can just use these instructions, but they're not very comprehensive but that's why I'm doing this so uh, first make a, a folder for your server to be in so I'm just gonna call it um, bucket server crap I can't type today tutorial I'm really bad typing in this okay bucket server tutorial then put the crap bucket dot jar into and actually, before we go any further, I want to say, uh, download this, log me in Hamachi, just Google Hamachi for Mac. Then you'll find it right here. Simple. Download that. And pretty much what that does, it allows people to, uh, you know, go onto your server. Because opening your port is sometimes really hard. So, how people will go on your server, they have to download Hamachi as well and log on to your Hamachi network, network that you create. So this is how to create a Hamachi network. Go to network, and then create a new network. Type this in, type like, test, test, and then make your password something like, and it's going to be test. So this is how you create it. You have to create, but then for oh, Blah, blah, blah. Then just do that. Then people will join it by going to joining an existing network and typing that. And that's pretty much how they do that. So pretty easy, I must say. Um, it's kind of a trouble. But and every time you turn on your server, you need to have Hamachi on. And every time that they need to join it, they have to turn on Hamachi. So it's kind of a pain. But it, I guess that's kind of the only way I know how to do it. So this is how you actually set it up. Um, open terminal. You might be like, oh no, terminal. That must mean, mean something hard, but it really isn't. Uh, then you need to, need to uh, copy a code, which I need to find. Bucket. There is a code, a cold, and it is. Should be right here. Um, this is not the code that I use. Hmm. Just a second. Let me open up something. Okay, I'm back. This is what you have to type in. Type in this. I'll put it in the description, but this is what it is. chmod underscore a plus x pound exclamation mark slash bin slash bash cd quote apostrophe, der name, quote name, all that stuff. All that good jazz. So, this is what you do. You go to terminal, cd, which is, um, what does that mean again? I don't remember, I'm stupid. But, uh, oh, dang it, I have headphones plugged in. Okay, um, okay, I'm getting distracted. Cd, I kind of forgot what that meant, but space, and then drag that. But what that does, it knows, like, it kind of, tells terminal that you're doing something in that folder, I guess. So then, then you copy and paste this 
code in. Press enter. And then watch terminal do its magic. It's running the jar file and making all the server files in there and preparing your world. And uh it's spawning it. It's spawning it. And it's doing that, all that stuff. And then after that, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you need to do. But I'm gonna also help you with some other things and how to, you know, edit some of the settings for the server. But let's explain bucket plugins. Uh, so this is how you get a bucket plugin. It's really simple. Just go to get plugins, and then there'll be a whole list of plugins that you can that you can have. Like you know, let's try um, something fun. Like try. Something that'd be easy, easy to test. There's a whole bunch of uh, different things, like uh, voxel air. Voxel air. It's a flying mod. Well, it's not very good, but it's okay. Uh, so let's get that to test. Media fire, media fire. <gasps> Get a free Samsung Gravity T. Yes. There we go. This is what you do. Uh, and it's done. When you open the folder, you'll see there's a whole bunch of other stuff. What does this all do? Well, I'll tell you. But this is how you install a plugin. Get your uh, jar and drag it in the plugins folder, and that's it. You'll need to restart the server, though. So, uh,. This is what this does. Banned IPs. If you have someone IP that you don't want to connect, then put it in that text folder. Banned players. Put the username of players that you want banned into here. Bucket.yml. I actually don't know what that does. Shh, don't tell anybody. The jar. That's pretty much it's just what the server runs off of. OPS. That's like showing who's the moderators. Type in the usernames that you want to be the moderators, moderators in there. So I type in my name because that's I want myself to be a moderator. Um, plugins. That's where you drag your plugins. Server.logs. This thing is kind of cool. It's pretty much the terminal thing, but uh, oh, I don't want to open edit rocket. Oh, okay. Uh, the log. You can actually uh see what everything that happened, all the commands that were done, what people said. So you can look through all the things. It's kind of fun. Uh, I really don't know what that is. Uh, Server.properties. Um, drag this or open it with a text edit. And these are the settings for the world. Um, just like, you know, server IP. You can just see that blank, I think. Level seed. If you want the, the level to respawn with the seed, the server port. Allow flight. Yes. Because that's what I try through. Whitelist. False. A whitelist. It pretty much, uh, you have to have a, you have a list of players, and they have to be on the list to be able to join it. A whole bunch of different settings, so it's pretty easy. Online mode, that means that they have to be a registered user that bought the game to play it. Um, there's a bunch of other things you can do. But, really, that's all you need. So, this is how you stop the server, you just type stop. Easy as that, and then just copy and paste it again. Start it again. And, uh, let's test it out. So, really that's all there is to it. Logging in. Downloading terrain. Here we are. A brand new server. Let's test that plugin we got. Uh, there's a feather. Feather, 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 where are you? There you are. I got a lot of feathers. Okay, ready? Ta-da, and the plugin works. Ooh, this is a nice world, I like it. It's snowy. So yeah. Really, it's not as hard as you think. So. It's a nice snowy place. If you ever want to do some multiplayer survival. And this is, uh, I just want to explain again how, you f how your friend would, uh, How uh, your friend would, would uh, join the server? If you would download Hamachi, open it, 
join your network and keep Hamachi open in the background and type in your Hamachi IP that's right there and put it in and connect and that's it and that's pretty much how to do it it's pretty simple if you have any questions or something so I'm pretty sure you will because you know I'm sure I did when I first started and please leave a comment and thanks for watching this tutorial see you later alligator